Hi, my name is Cindy Cron, and I'm the IPM advisor for Napa, Sonoma, Lake, and Mendocino counties. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to use a model to time ground cover management that disrupts the three-cornered alfalfa hopper life cycles in grapevine red blotch disease affected areas. To view the full presentation, and that presentation was given in deg um, degree days in Celsius, um, you would go to ucanr.edu forward slash ncipm. On the left-hand side, you'll click on North Coast IPM Seminar, select 2021 North Coast IPM Seminar videos, and scroll down to the presentation titled, How to Use a Model to Time and Tilling Interve Intervention to Disrupt Three-Corner Alfalfa Hopper Life Cycles. Or you can find the video directly on UCCE Sonoma YouTube page with um, the URL listed below. So to get started, um, the model was published in Journal of Economic Entomology, um, and you can see it in the bottom left-hand corner, timing the implementation of cultural practices for Spicillus vicinus in California vineyards using a strange structured degree day model. Spicillus vicinus is the scientific name for three-cornered alfalfa hopper, so we'll be commonly using that um, in this presentation. So here is a representation of what the model looks like and what we're trying to achieve. In um, the y-axis here is the number of three-cornered alfalfa hoppers. And on the x-axis, we're looking at over time, so over the season. And in green here, this is simulated what we would expect to find of small nymphs and, and, and that population increases. And as that population decreases, they're being moved into this larger nymph category. And then as that population is decreasing, it's being moved into the um, first generation emerging adults that you see in black. So we expect to initially find adults from the first infill generation between 3,137 and 3,447 accumulated degree days, and that's in Fahrenheit. And that's indicated in this yellow time frame that you see on the graph. So this is when the first generation is expected to emerge. Um, tilling recommendation is before that period of time. We want to till under the ground cover when there are small nymphs um, of, present on the ground cover. Those nymphs don't have wings, they cannot fly away. And this is the ideal time to reduce the populations. Um, and so this graph is showing you when 25% starting here to 80% of um, small nymphs are expected to be on the ground cover. And that gives you this time frame down below um, in which we would find an ideal time to be able to till under your ground cover. Um, and this supports a recommendation for tilling between 2,358 and 2,817 accumulated degree days. And again, that is in Fahrenheit. And that's highlighted in this red section. Now we can't look at just the dates because every year is different. As far as weather, insect development is based upon these degree day accumulation. Um, and so in a cooler year, uh, this would probably be shifted later. And in a warmer year, this would probably be shifted earlier. So it's not um, the time, you can't look at the time, you're looking at the accumulated degree days. So how do we accumulate those degree days? Um, and how, how do we make it useful for you as a grower? Um, and so we'll move into that. Uh, so the development of this model was in um, two years of sampling data by SweepNet in Oakville Research Station. Uh, we used the data in 2017 to create the model and then the data in 2016 to validate that model. We have since in 2020 sampled um, in Calistoga and Geyserville and in Hillsburg um, to validate that model. And uh, we were able to accurately predict um, first generation emergence of adults um, using the weather stations and using this model for those three regions. In 2021, we um, sampled in Mount Veter, Glen Ellen, uh, Santa Rosa, and um, Sebastopol and Petaluma. 
unfortunately, it was a drought year in which the ground cover was very dry. And when um, the vineyard was mowed, usually the ground cover bounces back and that year the ground cover died. Um, and then we could not pinpoint the first generation emergence in these three areas, Petaluma, Sebastopol and Santa Rosa. Now, it doesn't mean that the model doesn't work in those areas. What it means is that we weren't able to see the adult emergence to be able to see, um, to test if that model actually works or not. But we were able to get first generation emergence in Glen Allen and in Mount Veeder. Um, and we were able to show that the, the model did work in those two areas. So, okay, how do you use this model now? You're gonna wanna go to this web address, ipm.ucanr.edu forward slash weather forward slash index Dot HTML. This is what the page is going to look like. Um, and you're going to scroll down this page to view the degree day calendar that's at the bottom. So I moved down to the bottom of the page, and this is what it looks like. Here you go, the degree day calculator. You're going to choose Fahrenheit, and the lower threshold is freezing temperature. So the freezing temperature for Fahrenheit is 32 degrees. So you enter in 32, and then you click calculate button. That's gonna bring you to this page in which you're gonna choose the county in which you're going to be running this model. And since I'm in Sonoma County, I chose Sonoma. Your start date will be the January 1st of your current year. So we're currently recording this um, in January, uh, sorry, in 2022. So I'm starting my start date at January 1st, 2022. And my end date will be April 14th, 2022. And that's my current date in which I'm recording um, this webinar. So you're going to want to put in your current date, whatever it might be at the time, and then you want to click continue. On the next page, you're going to choose the weather station closest to your vineyard. So uh, I chose Santa Rosa A because that's closest to my office um, and I'm running this model currently. So um, you're going to want to choose whichever one is closest to your vineyard. You select that and it'll take you to the next page um, and on the next page, you don't have to do anything. It's already selected correctly for you. All you have to do is click this calculate button on the bottom. Now what that's going to do, now we have all of our accumulated degree days shown. And so on the left-hand side, you'll see the date and it's each day of the year going all the way down. And you're gonna wanna focus on this box, accumulated degree days, um, and see how every day gets larger and larger because it's accumulating over time. Um, and the goal is to till underground cover when the accumulated degree days value for today's date is between 2,358 and 2,817. So we're gonna scroll down all the way to the current date. And since I'm recording this on April 14th of 2022, this is my current date. And this is my accumulated degree days. Right now we're at 1949, which is below the 2358. So this gives you an idea. If you go back, this is how much is accumulated each day, which is going to vary according to the current temperature and weather. Some days it'll be less, some days it'll be more. Um, but as we're at now, it looks about 25 degrees uh, are accumulated every day on average uh, lately. And from 1949 to 2358, which is the minimum in which we recommending um, tillage, is about 400 degree days. So 20, if I'm accumulating about 25, every four days I'm accumulating about 100. So that would be in about 16 days is when we would guesstimate to be hitting this 2358. Now, this is when approximately 25% of the simulated um, small nymphs will be present, where this is when approximately 80%. So somewhere in between this range is where you're going to want to hit. Um, and that is a way of being able to plan ahead. Okay, I know that this is going to be hitting the minimum in about 16 days. Can I plan um, to have a crew come in until sometime after that point? Um, and with that, um, unfortunately, this is not an answer for everyone. The information is not meant to be anti-cover crops or legumes, of which both have amazing benefits to plant diversity, beneficials and soil health of a vineyard. Uh, this information is also not meant to be pro-tillage um, or a call to start to till. 
There are pros and cons to tillage that need to be weighed out before making any change. But if you already till, if you have grapevine rare blotch disease and it's an issue in your vineyard and you have three corner alfalfa hopper present, timing tillage, a practice you're already planning on doing can help reduce three corner alfalfa hopper populations. So with that, if you have any questions, this is my email address, cron at ucanr.edu. Um, my page where I post um, this video and, and other presentations are at ucanr.edu forward slash ncipm, stands for North Coast IPM, and Twitter is at North Coast IPM, and the weather um, stations and being able to um, to uh, do your degree days is here, the calculator, um, you can access through this web address below. And with that, I'd like to thank everyone and hopefully you find this to be helpful for planning for three-corner alfalfa hopper and red blotch in your vineyard. Thank you.